came here. Oh, okay. It's always it's always no warning here, but it is Monk versus uh, Hulu, and we do see Hunter versus uh, some kind of fast Zulok. Uh, the Dark Iron I've seen in some of the more mid-game Warlock decks. Why did you assume it's fast? Yeah, it's got a it's got a one, it's got a three, it's got a zero. It's pretty fast. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe you, s you have seen something different like Murloc charge and guys. I just or think when you mulligan all of those cards, you're just looking for your other one drops, which are better. Yeah, that's that's of course true. I kind of like keeping soul fires though in general. Oh. Oh, he has Undertaker. the Undertaker, which is really important. Uh, it did get a bit countered by the turn one leper gnome. If he draws into um, turn one death rattle, then it'll be okay. But or Void Walker, but he doesn't do that. I'm not sure what the card that he's highlighting is because it's, it's placed out of the hand and we only it's see Hulu's a DLB. second. It was a coin, so he will play oh, Haunted Creeper now, and that's a really good play because playing Undertaker will be just. Yeah, the Haunted Creeper is good because the the one once can get buffed by the uh, Dire Dougie. Oh yeah, his damage range right now is four. Hunter play is very limited right now, but he or he knows now that he is playing against uh, Zoo, so he can basically also use the tracking for the things that he really mm. needs. Oh, well, double unleash is really powerful. I think with double unleash and like an explosive trap, I think you don't really lose this matchup. We'll see if he uses explosive traps. My microphone is a bit low. Mm, I see that it is as well. I'll do my best to fix it. All right, that should be a little better. Monk goes with the play you suggested, so buffing up the spiders. Yep. After killing the leper now, and that's the correct play. Uh, we see the hunted creeper from Hunter. So, okay, he's playing. I presume he's also playing Undertakers, but he didn't draw them. Yeah, I mean, y you just do that in like every Hunter deck. Yep. Don't you? Of course you do. Yeah. Undertaker is like this snowball card, mm -hmm. which can you single handled can win games yeah yeah we've we've seen that we've seen uh not at this tournament but we've seen that just in general is a uh, the fastest games are like the the double turn one undertaker type <laughs> thing <laughs> then turn 3 you have double yetis yeah <laughs> so um the zoo player has a knife juggler, which can be really important against all, all those 1 HP okay. minions, which can be seen in hunters. Alright, I turned uh, your mic down a little bit, because uh, I couldn't okay. quite match up. Sure, no problem. I think that's good. Should we test it? Mine is still a bit loud. It yeah, even gets is, overdriven. Yours is a bit loud. Mm. One to one. Let me okay. see. Oh. Oh. Wait. I don't know. Um, maybe. Sh we'll, we'll just leave it this way. It's fine. I I wouldn't mess with that too much. I think I think the sliders are inversed. I think that's my slider. You sure? No, it's no, no, it's okay. Don't, don't I'm not sure. No, you do. I don't know. Okay, Stuff. Let's leave it this way. Whatever. You guys can complain if you want. Yeah, we get the explosive trap here, so that's really important for Oh, I missed that. Yeah, that was the draw. And that's, of course, the correct play of him. Most probably he won't be able to kill uh, the Undertaker because he'll buff, but that uh, also... He has the draw buff. There's a buff. Yeah. And it's actually a buff that's uh, good because it doesn't die to explosive trap too. You can also, like, power overwhelm something if you want to push for damage. Yeah, it's 20.6 damage from Hunter. I mean, 26 uh, health points uh, Hunter. I don't think you want to push the damage right now. No? Well... Because you, you got Soulfire in hand. You, you're, you're probably going to use Soulfire soon, which means you want to use Power Bowling before it. you're casting Harvest Golem, you have one mana left over. And if the thing's going to die anyway, you might as well, like, power overwhelm, like, the Owl. But right. if you got the power, uh, power roll in end golem, you can actually co combo them with each other, so the uh, harvest golem will actually kill something and still leave a body behind. Mm. Like in case the like, mission will appear or something bigger from, ha uh, from uh, Hunter's side. Now apparently they can't hear you very well. Let's see if that's a bit better. Maybe. 1-1. One, one. 
Hey, he goes with the play you uh, suggested. So yeah. Oh, we some push for damage. The ball comes uh, comes one turn too late. Oh, I just doesn't unleash. Doesn't like the board. Decent play. Also, not trading for Harvest Golem is uh, obvious. Now, the, when the Harvest Golem dies, he does trigger the Knife Juggler again, so this might be pretty bad for um You can assume Hulu. that you will draw into a Knife Juggler, though. Right. But it's strange that he'd push for one damage there, isn't, isn't it? Does unlock unlucky Knife Juggler now? Yeah. Okay. I like it. I think I would have been trading here the harvest golem because you want to protect your knife dragger. Uh, so now now this is a power play. If you yeah. actually did uh, trade the harvest golem, mm -hmm. this could have been much better for him. He would have won yeah. more minion. But now it's it's kinda over, I think. Unless it's uh, he will draw into a Doom Guard with I lifed up into the second following, it's kinda done. Yeah, he needs to do some like crazy burst action. And I don't I don't think that's possible out of Monk's deck right now. He has six mana, so even drawing Sea Giant! Sea Giant. Oh wow, is it a thing now? Apparently it's a thing. Or they are just playing um, bot decks. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the mic situation is like uh, we're getting trolled in chat a lot, so we're just uh, trying to accommodate the best way we can. Uh, Monk's, Monk's dead, though. He doesn't have much of a chance here. Yep, and the bow seals the deal. Another explosive. So it says double explosive, double unleash. That's rough for Zoo. So it's like... Um Hunter, which is built to against mass minion decks, like Zoo. Mm -hmm. Playing something that counters Hunter, so... Oh, well, what counters Hunter is Hunter. Hunter, yeah. <laughs> Looks like he is playing two aggressive decks. And does he have flares in there? This will be super important. I think uh, there was a lot of talk about Mage uh, showing some representation at this tournament. Without the baton system? Well, I lost to Freeze Mage, so... Yeah. I, I think I think Flare is still very popular. My initial thought was like, Freeze Mage is really strong when you, have to, uh, when you get to ban Warrior or uh, Hunter. That's a hand. That's... Uh, Undertaker 2-1 drops from Monk. Oh wow. That's that's crazy. I think we'll see I, I thought Coins a that scientist he, that, that, he, that he will play the knife juggler here because even uh if Monk plays uh Hunted Creeper then trade is one for one, but who no, can do Haunted Creeper Haunted Creepers I think is way better here. I think Flooding the board with minions that died to explosive is bad. That cost them the game uh, just yep. a few minutes ago. He also plays snake drops. Monk, I mean, Monk plays snake yeah. drops. I've seen this a bit. I've seen this the snake trap with the the juggler variant. That's true. It's kind of popular right now. So what trap does? It's monk. probably explosive. Get. Let's he didn't see. check he it, hovers right? over. If he doesn't check it, it has to be explosive. <laughs> didn't even <laughs> check from what yeah. I saw. So we can assume he... No, wait. If he plays two snake traps, then he he can also draw a snake trap here. And if he plays one snake trap, snake trap and like two freezing traps, then he knows that he did draw... Uh, the second, uh, the the other trap. Mm -hmm. So which trap is it? I I'm sure it's explosive. If it's not explosive, it's a pretty hilarious bluff. 
But I, I think he's running one freeze, two explosive. And he just didn't even bother checking. He can play the snake trap on this on this turn, so it's not snake trap. What? Oh wait, I just I think you confused the yeah, players. Yeah, I confused the players, yeah. sorry. So this is a decent play for like damage, but right now like you're just getting unleashed and you're behind on cards and you're not that ahead on life. You have to Take some defense with the doggies here. And what's your next turn play? You have four mana, so you can drop the knife jogger and follow up that with two minions. He likes to leave a minion on the board. Which is kind of okay because it's a beast, so you can assume. Uh, He'll attack into it? Yeah, because of Team. the cold kill commands and handmasters. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. It's the good death thing rattle time. The good thing for Monk here, he has two beasts on his board and he has the Houndmaster in, uh, in his hand, so uh, he can really count on having one beast in his next turn uh, on his board to actually play and get some value from the Houndmaster. Now from Hulu's hand, uh, you got many options here. You can just go for Undertaker, buff him to 3-4, which is kind of decent against 3-3 and 1-1. Uh, he can I think all those 1-1s one one are super valuable with double juggle. Yeah, that's also true. So, I think this is the decision that he's making. It's like, you know, do, do I want to play creatures now or do I want to juggle like the board off? You want to juggle because if you actually kill the 1-1, one -one, that's super effective. Mm -hmm. If if um, Monk even follow ups with Hunt Master to buff the Grizzly to 5-5... Five -five, double oh, juggle. Double juggers. Oh, That is really bad. Yeah, I would have like liked the uh, web spinner leper non better because, uh, but he didn't do that because he wants to play it on turn five with mm -hmm. double, double, um, double buff and proceed to play if either the trap or either the um, hero power. I think uh, here you just hound master, just kill the jugglers. I think mean, it's a very simple play. You end with a hound master on board. And a draw from the web spinner, but yeah. if you play the snake trap now, you can kill. No, it's not good. Snake that, trap that's, is that's useless. Yes, useless now. You have to play the hand master, buff the web spinner, and kill both jugglers. If you don't do that, you'll be far behind. It's basically three, three uh, jugglers from mm, I three minions. I think he's considering going face with the uh, Iron Fur. I think that's a mistake, though. Oh, and he gets a Savannah High Main. Wow, that's really strong. Turn five Savannah yeah, High Main from so Web can, uh, Spinner. <laughs> actually, follow up next turn. And Freezing Trap, which yep. is kind of okay. He ca he gets the value again from Hunt Monster, though. And we got two traps for a flare. But I think we'll see the Savannah Hyman here. Mm. He has no other place, actually. This is not looking good for Monk at all, though. If I, don't, I don't like Monk's spot. Yeah, if Hulu draws a second... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, do you trade here, like... Yeah. You want to get the web spinner draw, and he gets a Mukla. Mukla. Mukla's mm. fine. He will now trade, so... I think that's really okay. Yeah. The main problem is that Monk has no board. He's got useless bananas. And the main thing that he can play are traps which get flared. This is why I don't like the snake trap. It's basically... He just drew another high main. The sneaking of free is because it's effective on both. But it's not effective against flare. Yeah, that's true. And and playing, Monk, playing Monk knows. Seven, will be better yeah. here. Oh no, both traps. That's game over, isn't oh, man, it? That's really painful. Really painful because you you will just get eight damage, ten damage maybe. Yeah, there's the agonizing uh, Monk face. Oh man, this is so painful to watch. Yeah, you go face here. You don't want to, to uh, 
trade with the hunted creeper? No, you you can attack with a weapon and unleash. But why would you do that if you get so much? He he is so low actually, like six mm -hmm. sixteen HP and getting more six more damage from the uh, Undertaker and bow. I don't think that's the correct play. I don't think it matters. Because if he right now he's he's master, got lethal on board, and how is monk supposed to stay alive? It's nothing. Monk's dead. That's true. So, because he set up lethal anyway, I think this is the best play because you know your opponent needs six mana to drop a Houndmaster. Yeah, you're right. And it's very unlikely that a monk can stay alive the next turn, so you play as safe as possible. And this is the safest play. I actually forgot about the Houndmaster, which was in his hand. So, yeah, that was a quick match. Yeah.